Welcome back for another Geography ASMR video and for today we're gonna explore the Canadian regions and we're gonna draw the outline for each region and I'm gonna explain the best known fact they found. But uh, let's start first with some general characteristics and facts about Canada. Well, in fact one of the most important facts even not from the beginning is that this huge country is in fact a monarchy. Yes, it's not a republic, it's a monarchy. And Canada, it's the world's second largest country in the world after Russia. And uh, because it has this characteristic, it has also the longest coastline in the world. Well, if you ask yourself from where the name Canada is derived, it's from indigenous word. That word is Kanata, with T Kanata, which means settlement or village. In the language of Saint Lawrence Europeans, Canada's national animal is the beaver. Yes have as a national animal a beaver and the national sport of this country is lacrosse. Now let's get more details about each region and I'm gonna start with uh, with the with the Ontario which is the first in our list so first region here. I'm gonna zoom a little bit. Alright, we have here Ontario. So, I'm gonna draft the contour of Ontario. And then I'm gonna explain the best known facts about Of 
before. So here it's Hamilton, which contains 100 waterfalls. Toronto is the capital of Ontario and it's the largest city in Canada with over 3 million inhabitants or residents. So we have here Toronto. Toronto was recently named the most multicultural city on earth. The CN Tower, which is 1850 feet tall, was the tallest freestanding structure until 2007. Canadian beer is produced here in Montreal and 
was founded in 1786. So it was founded in 1786. This is a seven. Good. Now let's move next in our list. Time to move a little bit east because we're gonna talk about Nova Scotia or New Scotland. Here is a small peninsula right here. We have Nova Scotia or New Scotland. Here I should zoom in. Alright, I'm gonna drop the contour with that thinner pan. Alright, so we have Nova Scotia and the capital is Halifax, which is right here. Halifax. Well, in fact, this is a small one of the smallest area or regions in Canada, and no point in Nova Scotia is more than 60 kilometers from the sea. Nova Scotia was one uh, of the founding four provinces to join the Confederation with Canada in 1867. Well, the name Nova Scotia in Latin is Latin, that's why, but it's also named New Scotland. Nova Scotia is the second smallest province in Canada in terms of area. Well, the Nova Scotian residents are not called Nova Scotians, they are often nicknamed Plenusers. 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 Uh, it's written, I will write it. P L. Well, New Brunswick is the only province in Canada that 
as English and French as professional languages. New Brunswick is also nicknamed, nicknamed the Picture Province for its beautiful sceneries. So I'm gonna draw a line and then write the picture. The picture.
this irregular shaped coastline looks like some fjords from Norway.
by the Prince Edward to Duke of Kent. So the name is from 1799 from the Duke of Kent who was uh, named Prince Edward. Prince Edward Island is also known as the Idaho of Canada. A quarter of all Canadian potatoes are cultivated right here. So this tiny little island it's the um, it's producing one of the four one quarter of potatoes. This is very interesting. So they have a very fertile soil. Right. Now, let's uh, move to our next region. Alright, and next in our list is this. This region with a very hard spelling name. And is Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. I'm gonna draw the contour. Perfect. Now, let's talk about Saskatchewan region. Saskatchewan is actually covered in boreal forest. So this part here of the north, it's covered in boreal forests. Half of Saskatchewan's population live in the province's largest city, Saskatoon, or the capital city, Regina. So Regina is the capital city and Saskatoon is the largest. I'm gonna show you both cities. Regina is here in the south and Saskatoon is here. You see, it's right here in the center. So, okay, people from Saskatchewan are called Saskatchewanians. Saskatchewanians, the province of its animal, it's the white tailed deer. Another cool fact is Saskatchewan is the sunniest area in Canada. Lower Saskatchewan and Alberta are sometimes called the Sun Belt of Canada. The hottest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan was 45, 45 degrees Celsius or 113 Fahrenheit. Alright, while the lowest was minus, minus 56 Celsius or minus 70 Fahrenheit. That's difference over 100 degrees. Saskatchewan is home to the numerous other curious roadside attraction includes that are including the world's largest coffee pot, paper clip and replica of Eiffel Tower. Saskatchewan is also the world's leading producer of mustard and pulses like chickpeas and lentils and 60% yeah 60% of Canada's wheat is growing in Saskatchewan. Okay, and let's move nearby to the neighbors and we're gonna talk next about Alberta. Yes, we have here Alberta. The capital is Edmonton and the largest city is Calgary. So, we have Edmonton as a capital, and here, Calgary, or Calgary. Calgary is the largest city. Alberta is a Canadian province known for its large oil industry, so we have oil here. 
and has one of the highest GDP per capita in Canada. The first Albertans were nomadic indigenous people. Difference between North and South in Alberta is that North has very cold winters, so we have cold winters. And the South on average sees warmer temperatures during winter time. So there is a difference between those two parts because it's a large it's a large region. Edmonton it's home to the largest mall in North America. It's called West Edmonton Mall. So the largest mall in North America it's right here in Edmonton. And Edmonton it's nicknamed the festival city due to many events that holds during the uh, during the year. So we have festivals. Just uh, a municipal, municipal park in Canada is here in Edmonton. Calgary is the largest city in Alberta and what's the most level city in North America once? The largest national park of Canada is here in Alberta. Mount Columbia is the highest point in Alberta and it's also part of the Rocky Mountains, located in Columbia Acefield, yeah, and has an elevation of 3747 meters above the sea level. And these are the curious facts about Alberta, and time to move on to the next Coast in another region, it's the new Newfoundland and Labrador. This region from here, so we have here the Newfoundland and Labrador. Very well known to the humans. Two 
dog breeds, named after the province, one of the most popular dogs in the world, the Labrador and the beloved Newfoundland dog. So we have also the Labrador and the Newfoundland dog as the dog breeds that are originating from this area. Right, now I have finished with the regions of Canada, but besides these, Canada has also three large territories here in the north. Uh, they are not appearing as regions, they are appearing as territories. So we have Yukon, the first one, so I'm gonna draw off the contour, we have these. We have Yukon. Okay, so let's draw the contour. Yellow knife. 
life it's here but it's also very close to the North Pole. The Nani National Park has many off-in-spring features including the largest lake entirely within Canada and the tallest waterfall in North America. Yeah. Right. Good. And now let's move to the last territory and the newest one which is also very very large territory is this here this is the largest territory and it's called Nunavut and it's um, I don't know if I can draft the contour of the entire territory because there are plenty of islands and let's try the Nunavut it will take a while video with so many facts about this special country Canada alright well the Nunavut territory is, in, is also here it's including this island out of 
three territories from the Canada and this is how Canada looks after we explore it and we discussed the old best known facts about it very interesting video I liked it very much because I didn't know many of them those cool things that I just found by making this video I hope you enjoyed it too and uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time for another video with another country of course I wish you all the best and bye bye <laughs>